hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be talking about maintaining quotations so how do we maintain quotations so let's start so in the previous video we had looked at creating the rfq so this would be the second step that is creating a quotation so first step is to create rfq second step is to create a quotation the t code which we have to remember is me47 and this is the t code which we use to create a quotation based on an rfq so first we create an rfq and then based on that rfq we can create a quotation with me47 so the first step here is the transaction code that we have talked about is me47 next we have the rfq number so this is the request for quotation that we are using as a reference document and then we press enter step two is the entering of the fields which is very important rfq quantity delivery date net price per unit measure storage location so here we fill all the information okay so we have the item details that is below so we enter the text the rfq quantity the deadline date the tracking number the order price so we have all the information here next additional data you can access some additional information on item level like these are some additional information like net weight gross weight we have a few conditions we have the gr control now this is a very important icon the hat icon this is to navigate to the header data so if you want to change something in the header data you have to click on this icon and it would navigate into that section so this is the header data after you click on the hat icon where we have the rfq and the type and the vendor we have the purchasing groups the bucket purchase organization date start date end date is there the collective number is here we have payment terms like currency exchange weight payment terms we also have reference data here so if you choose item conditions uh, icon you can maintain pricing conditions for the currently selected item so you can enter conditions like surcharge freight cost discount etc so this is the condition screen to change the gross price now we can enter the condition type and the amount here with a date so once it is done once you fill the price you can save the data by clicking on the save icon so if you have to change something in the quotation you can do the same using the same t code that is emit 47 so if you need to change some data in the quotation you can use the same transaction me47 to do it so for maintaining and changing the quotation we have the same t code that is me47 and if you want to display the data that you have already created we can use transaction me48 so after we have you have validated all the data you can click on save and you can get a message that the quotation has been maintained so you have you can repeat uh, this process to create the quotations for all the rfqs and for example if a certain vendor didn't answer your quotation you you would not create a quotation for that vendor so this was all about maintaining the quotation so in the next video we will be going inside the scb system and we will manually check how to create a quotation so that is all in this video if you got value from this video do like comment and share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye